secret that Indians love drinking coffee and because of the shared passion that we have it has led to a number of coffee houses to open in India recently even coffee houses become one of the most popular choices of restaurant business opening in India and according to some report it states that coffee houses will see a an annual growth of 11% by the end of 21 and this is what makes coffee shops an immensely profitable business in this video we'll be seeing what exactly do you need to get started with your own coffee shops let us begin coffee shops are places where people like to unwind and relax and have chit chat with their friends so when you're opening the coffee house make sure the coffee house is located in a very visible place that means it should have high footfall of customers all throughout the day second thing you need to consider is the people whom you're targeting are present in the locality or not and the third make sure the location whichever you are choosing it should fit in your budget before you open your coffee house doors make sure you have the menu in place being a coffee house you need to have the all sorts of coffee and the varieties of coffee that a coffee house would have that includes having a cappuccino to all the way to a mocha and everything that is in between secondly consider of having a food menu along with the coffee menu now the food menu make sure the food menu does not include food that requires a heavy preparation uh, always offer food that is semi-processed and requires only final stage cooking so that your staff is not harassed by the work of cooking in the kitchen rather than serving to the customer uh, third thing I want to know I want to tell you about is uh, innovate the menu every single month so that whenever the customers are repeating they can enjoy your menu a little more every time they come to your cafe the coffee shops does not require a lot of cooking in the outlet and since the primary selling item is coffee tea and beverage uh, one should typically invest in a good coffee maker and a good coffee maker in the market will cost you around 10,000 rupees and as per the menu decide on the kind of equipments you would need for your coffee shop having the right kind of staffs will help you to improve the customer experience and secondly it will help you to retain those loyal customers that visit your coffee shop some of the staffs that you need when you start off are the baristas the ones who specialize in the beverage second one are the servers the ones who serve to their customers third one are the chef the ones who cook in the kitchen fourth one are the managers who look after the overall processes of the coffee shop and the fifth one are the cleaners they do the small household chorus for you and lastly one tip i just want to add from myself is uh, when you're starting off start with a small number and gradually increase your staff as you start seeing the more customers in your coffee shop well-trained staffs leads to great sales and also helps you to retain the customers even more so spend enough on the training of your staff because they are the ones interacting with your customers uh, you can train them on various sections such as the menu uh, the ideal way to interact with the customers and also on the ideal type of guests they need to interact with and lastly i also wanted to include that whenever you're starting off your coffee shops make sure you provide them a handbook so that they can refer to it whenever required 
it is vital for businesses like coffee shops to invest in the right kind of technology when they are starting off and uh, to get started you basically need two set of technology number one is the POS uh, which handles the inventory the stock and the billing and the second one is the CRM that handles the customer relationship of your customers for the number one that is POS you can opt for any of the top uh, POS systems that is available in the market today uh, it can be the paid puja software or the line tree whichever you think is good for uh, for your locality and the city and the second part the CRM you need to uh, look for a system which provides you the kind of uh, details about the customers journey about the customers data and the preferable timing and all the details that you need to exactly target them and bring them back to your cafe so invest in this two technology very wisely to see a tremendous growth in the initial days last thing i want to talk about is the marketing the marketing of a cafe is very important the primary reason is it is what brings the customers through that door so remember to invest wisely on marketing that means planning your launch even three months prior to the day of inauguration so you need to put down strategies how you're gonna place your restaurant on the online platforms such as social media and even getting the press release on the newspaper or even arranging a bloggers meet or, or having a grand launch for your cafe any of that you need to plan it prior so that you have ample of time to execute it perfectly uh, second thing I want to talk about is the online marketing now if you want to reach out huge huge audience only social media and other few platforms are there to help you to reach them so when you're starting off plan out the strategy for social media as well plan out the kind of content that you will be building plan out the kind of brand image that you will have on your audience so that when you launch the customer has a clear mindset of what the cafe is all about in the past we have seen a lot of international national players coming in the coffee shop business model uh, from Starbucks to Chai Point all of them are competing and are doing extremely well in this sector so when you start off make sure you follow all the points that I mentioned before and you can too become one of these players in the market if you need any sort of help in starting your own coffee shop feel free to reach us out on the contact information given below and we will be very happy to help you in your business.